Hey guys, so today we're back with another video and it is going to be a Michael Kors bag reveal. So if you guys are interested to see what bag I got, then please keep watching. All right, so quick backstory is that I really wanted to get this Louis Vuitton pillow bag. I'll post some pictures around here for so you guys can get an idea. Um, that's definitely a bag I really wanted to get, but that's over currently $3,000. And so I found this Michael Kors pillow bag and I went ahead and scooped it up and fell in love. So let me go ahead and reveal that bag to you guys. Ta-da! Here is the beautiful Michael Kors Hamilton Legacy Bag, and this is in the small size. Oh my god, this is honestly my new favorite handbag that I own in my collection. I'm completely obsessed, um, and it's something totally different than my comfort zone, but how beautiful is this? So let me get started with the dimensions of the bag, so I'll post the height, length, and depth of it on the screen for you guys. This bag is in nylon leather, but I know a lot of people don't want to spend any money because it's like nylon material. Trust me, this one is worth it. I know people don't want to spend so much on like designer nylon because it's extremely overpriced, but this is a really good Michael Kors like price range because let me compare. I got this bag or backpack from TJ Maxx and this was $24.99 and I got this on purpose to show you guys as like a comparison so this is in like recycled nylon it's in a thinner material it feels soft but it doesn't feel as luxurious as this Michael Kors pillow bag or legacy bag um, and this one doesn't feel like I said as amazing quality this is the bottom of the bag it's like a like a stiffer material and you can tell it's made of cheaper materials it's still a beautiful like nylon style backpack um definitely a good way to get the look for less if michael kors might be a little bit too expensive in your price range but i can tell you the truth that this is definitely a luxurious material and bag this is like a really puffy material and it's super squishy and it's in like a smooth leather this is like a puffy um nylon and then this is the back of the bag like i said it's like a pillow everywhere and it's so cute um here is the bottom so this one has a really smooth bottom just like for example this juicy couture bag However, this one, like I said, you can tell by looking at it and feeling it, it feels cheaper. Where this Michael Kors bag just looks more luxurious and feels so soft and like buttery. Um, it does have the feet on the bottom, on the sides. Let me move this one. You do have these little twists or I think straps that you can undo and make the bag wider like cinch it to make it tighter or looser on the sides i'm just going to keep it the way it came um i did take off the strap it came with because the webbing strap it has is a little bit too um short i got this one from amazon i think it was $24.99 and it's brown and it matches completely perfectly and it just looks more luxurious i think it reminds me of the louis vuitton because it also has this little feature here that you could put a keychain like I could probably put this little keychain on this and it'll look cute I just added this adorable little Michael Kors deer keychain I think I got this on Mercari or Poshmark I can't remember or eBay it was like $30 really cheap and affordable so with this bag they do have this in a whole bunch of other materials I'll go ahead and post some pictures for you they have it in like croc type of embossed print um pink and smooth leather the signature leather but this is the small size and i think this is perfect for me because i'm pretty small framed and i'm not that tall so i feel like this works best on my body size this bag though you'll compare to the other ones doesn't have that little lock coming here because this one's a little bit different you would open this front portion like so and then this would open up and you have a like an extra pocket here to put things in 
which is really nice. And then here, there is a zipper feature. And there's one whole compartment. When you open this side, I did put like a bubble wrap thing in it but there's one pocket back there and the material is really soft in here um, and then one main compartment and on the other side you just have this whole main compartment so I did go ahead and pack this bag completely just to show you guys a quick look so if you wanted to put stuff here you can I personally didn't so I'm just gonna close it up but if you do stuff the bag um, which I wouldn't want to do if I were you um, it would be a little bit more difficult to close this feature here so I'll just be mindful of that um, so starting off with this main middle compartment I have in here a lipstick um, ah, I'm trying to reach for it it's kind of deep a little perfume a little um, like an airpod keychain case that you can put stuff in so you can see super adorable so that's everything I put here. In this back pocket, I added a little compact mirror. My key case by Michael Kors. And like I said, you can put keys in it. And it has a really nice option to put change. A little notepad. Oops. <laughs> can fit inside. A big old cosmetic bag. I actually just got this, so I haven't had a chance to use it. But a good size pouch or makeup bag would work if that's what you carry in here. Um, and then I have on this front area my wallet. A good compact wallet would fit. Even one thinner or smaller than this. And then a little coin purse. This is by Michael Kors. I haven't had a chance to use this, but it's really cute. It's like a little car so those are just some things that can fit in here um which is really nice so i hope you guys enjoyed this little michael kors hamilton legacy bag in this like pillow style this is now literally my new favorite handbag that i own i am so obsessed with it i think it's so cute um i'll post some links down below where you can get this bag but like i said this is beautiful i think this is the perfect size satchel in the small compared to the larger ones um, but if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. I do have a new Kate Spade bag reveal to show you guys next. So I hope you guys stay tuned and keep watching. Have a good one.